twice a week. Mm -hmm. and, and you could you could raise initially if, if you wanted you could Where do, do you like, get cerebral lysin from? From I get it from a website called cosmicnootropic.com, which is a Russian website. They have a Is it interact with serotonin? Is no, not directly. It, no. Is it going to cause serotonin syndrome? No, 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 no. It has no direct neurotransmitter activity whatsoever. It is just growth factors purified from the brains of pigs. It's directly the BDNF, NGF, GDNF, all those growth factors that SSRIs upregulate. But what's interesting about it is this. So you could do like a loading phase if you wanted to feel it intensely. Like say, for example, you took 10 milliliters a day for a week straight. It would be in your system. You'd feel it quite a bit. Thereafter, for example, if the next few weeks you did two weekly injections of 10 milliliters. Sub Q? No, unfortunately, intramuscular. But I tell you, I'll tell you more. Oh, about like intramuscular. It. Okay, no yeah, problem. Or IV, but it's very easy injection because it's, it's a water based solution. It, it, like I can inject five, 10 ml into one peck. And my peck's not big, as you can see. It's easy. It's just going around here. It immediately dissipates. It's fine. You know, it's a very easy injection. It's not annoying, even if you did it daily. But point is, say you lo load it for a week. I bet you, if you did it twice a week for the next three weeks, by the end of the month, you would have less of a need to have the same dose of the SSRI. You could reduce it a little bit. By how much? I bet you could reduce it slowly, by the, depending on the way you feel. What you're going to feel after a week and then after a couple of doses is you're going to feel an anxiolytic effect, reduction of anxiety, a slight antidepressant effect, an anxiolytic effect. Even better than I feel now? Because I feel super high right now. You're going to feel basically how the SSRI feels. You're going to be raising that feeling. So you want to then titrate the SSRI dose as you feel more of that overwhelming uh, you know, calming feeling that the neurogenesis gives you. you know, mm -hmm. The SSRI has serotonin dependent effects, but also the neurogenesis effect. Mm -hmm. So there's one solution. The other solution would be to raise your dopaminergic signaling. We talked about well Which I don't want to do. Because it can be very, yeah, that's a, it's it's dangerous. tricky. It's tricky, yeah, that's the thing. It's dangerous. So that's why I was suggesting potentially increasing neurogenesis. If I, if I can be on 20 milligrams of Lexapro and get the same effect that I'm getting now, mm -hmm. I would be Superman. Mm -hmm. You said the only complaint about having the 40 milligrams is what again? Ejaculation. They're just the ejaculation. That's it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, so the dopamine, just so you know, if what happens to meth addicts who overdo dopamine signaling, they come randomly. Like, for example, when a meth oh, addict... Oh, believe me, I've, I've been with a girl that's been on Wellbutrin. She would come 15, 16, 17, 20 times, and she would squirt everywhere. I've seen it, so I know so, what Wellbutrin is. You know what? So when a meth addict injects IV methamphetamine, they ejaculate in their pants as they inject it. Yep. I've heard dozens of meth addicts tell me this very, in person. Very, very true. So, it's like, it's like, it's like think about cocaine. Well, butrin similarly works. It's a little bit different than cocaine, but it's it's kind of working on the same receptors. Yeah, and then I know it's very similar. It's yeah. a dopamine reuptake inhibitor, just right. like cocaine. Yeah. So you gotta think, you, the person is on coke. So it's very, very weird. They give it for depression, but it, I mean, you gotta be pretty much bedridden, but it gets you out of bed. That's what Wellbutrin does. But most likely, most of the time it's prescribed to women. Yeah. And women love it as far as ejaculation and everything. Their sex drive goes to the roof. Is it, is, do they cru do people crush Wellbutrin and snort it? Would that be you the can. type of thing that people crush Wellbutrin to make it short release? Right. They don't usually snort it. They usually snort amphetamines and stuff right. like that because Wellbutrin. You would think so because it's like cocaine. But you know what's interesting about cocaine addicts? I don't know if you have ever known some, but they tend to over time de de become hy hypersexualized and right. start to do things like do coke and watch porn for hours right. on end. So that's, that's dopamine. So dopamine increases sex drive as well as ejaculation also. A lot of the people also that use amphetamines and inject it and stuff like that, they come too early. You know, and then they want to use Viagra to stay hard. And they, they So dopamine would solve that issue. But the reason why I'm going into so much detail is this, the science of male sex drive is not very well understood at all. It's not? Not at all. Like I, I'm trying to research, I'm trying to read all the papers. How do you feel on fluoxamine? Um, I'm not on it right now. But why I like fluvoxamine, I don't know if you know this, fluvoxamine is also a sigma-1 agonist. Right. Whereas a lot of the SSRIs are sigma-1 antagonists. And the whole thing about fluvox is it's preferred on obsessive-compulsive. Yes. So if you have obsessive thoughts, it's not that. Yeah, ruminating over negative thoughts, for example. Mistakes you made back in the past. How or, does it affect your sex drive? Uh, it low, for me, I don't have any ejaculation issues or erectile function issues, just a reduction in desire to have sex. Which I like personally, to be honest. I like it too. You know what, Leo? I noticed yeah. is it calms me down. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not as hungry. You're wasting time. Yeah, you're wasting to be time. Honest, and at the end of the day, it's just sex. Yes. Like before, I used to be like I put so much emphasis on it, but I'm so much more calm now. I'm more peaceful. <laughs> I'm like, you want to do it? You want to do it? Exactly. <laughs> That's why I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. To be yeah, honest because with you. it's it's like when you're not actually horny, you realize how ridiculous is this? What am I doing? Spending time doing this constantly? And you're giving too much content attention to the pussy. Exactly. And it's not worth it at the end of the yeah. day. Too physical. You get, you, get, you get yourself in trouble.
I'm looking for someone. That's true as well. It can it, really keep right. you safe. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, now that I'm in this peaceful space, and actually, marijuana has helped me open up a lot of keys to my brain to unlock mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. things. I, I'm thinking to myself, why am I driving this car? Mm -hmm. Why am I, why am I, why am I, like, what is the big deal about driving this particular car? Mm -hmm. Who am I trying to impress? Because the girl that I want is not going to be impressed by the car that I drive. Just, just a warning though, uh, marijuana, which I have a lot of uh, fun experiences with myself, yeah. you know, they say it reduces ambition or whatever, but it, it, there is an acute feeling, which is, it's a kind of wisdom that comes from it. Wisdom. It's, it's honestly getting, a wisdom. I'm, get, I'm getting more, like, it's almost like I'm on a PED. Yeah. When I go to the gym now, I don't sit there and kill myself. You know what I do? I find the right machine to stimulate the muscle, and I'm happy with that. I'm not going to try and do five, six plates anymore for what? Yeah, I'd rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather look like I live five, six plates than... than, than... People say that like uh, mushrooms and, and LSD are the only ways you can have these psychedelic, uplifting Mar spiritual experiences. No. Marijuana, especially sativas, can really get you there. It's got me there. Yeah. I'm amongst so many things like, I'm paying $2,000 a month for a car, right? Mm. I thought to myself, Sahal, you're such a smart, what, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. For what? Because mm -hmm. you're trying to get other people's approval of what car you drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these things the are, way I always think about are it is... opening up to me now, like, I, I don't need it. Yeah. For what? If you lived on an island, would you drive the same car? No. Yeah, that's the, always the question. If nobody was on an island, would you be driving, driving that car? Well, how would you be living your but life? But I didn't think this kind of stuff before. It was mm -hmm. always like a matter of whatever. Now I've gone to a point where my confidence level and the way I talk and whatever, it's all about peace, mm -hmm. spirituality, I'm giving out positive emotions and positive frequency. And since I've been doing that, more positive things happen, less bad things. And if something bad happens, I don't look at it as bad. I look at it as it's a learning experience. Don't dwell on it and move on. So sometimes we can become like slaves of society where yes. we don't even, and it's, it's really because we have low self-esteem and we've given the self-esteem to society. And sometimes with marijuana, especially psychedelics, someone can take back that self-esteem mm. you know, and be interested in who they are and yeah. what they want as opposed yeah. to what society expects yeah. and keeping up with the Joneses and all that kind of BS. I don't, don't want to keep up with the Joneses anymore. Yeah. I want to leave. I tell you one, one problem with this though. I did this, I, exper I experimented with this a lot and got to that point myself. If you ever do have to become very ambitious monetarily, very it becomes ambitious. very hard to regain it. <laughs>